Hi guys, good afternoon from Europe. Piotr here, this Light Finance Global YouTube channel. It's my pleasure to be with you again. And today we are going to discuss storage. This time it's not the uh, usual type of the mining, it's a space mining, so you can use your free disk space to mine storage coin. Before we are going to discuss the project, let's start with the storage versus Bitcoin chart. Let's start with the weekly chart. And to be honest with you, taking into the consideration mid 2020 towards these days, we have clear supply around the 6,000 Satoshi and we have a clear demand around 1000 Satoshi. So quite wide range, taking into the consideration what we have currently is a 5000 Satoshi range. And after latest rally, we do have currently strong pullback. It could be one to one. So we might revisit 1000 Satoshi again, based on the weekly chart. And that's where I'm looking to try to buy with the possible target of 6,000 Satoshi. Taking into the consideration more to the left side, right, we have some kind of the uh, supply around 11 and 12,000 Satoshi. And to be honest with you, that's quite interesting. Why is that so interesting? Because if and when we are going to break through 6,000 Satoshi, this supply line over here, right? We might double the original range and we might hit 11 or 12,000 Satoshi based on the weekly chart. Let's have a look what we have from the daily chart perspective on that chart, right? And as you can see, there was attempt to rally, all right? And we failed and we failed right around the resistance. So as of now, we might take into the consideration this consolidation before the break happened over here. And to be honest with you, I'm looking for a pullback again, similar to what we discussed a second ago on a weekly chart. I'm looking to buy around 1,000 Satoshi uh, just for a retest first of the 6,000 Satoshi and then eventually further rally out towards 11 and 12,000 Satoshi. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, the mining based on the space is gaining popularity. If you do remember, uh, a few weeks ago we were discussing about the new project Chia, uh, a little bit different story. Uh, here, when we are talking about the storage, the main competitor, uh, I would say, is the Filecoin, which is designed uh, when it comes to the uh, to that project, uh, design storage miners and index miners, and uses them for data storage and data distribution accordingly. On the other hand, on the other hand, it's much easier to mine storage right now. Uh, it's almost like ready to go. So what kind of the steps we are going to discuss? How storage it works? How does it work, right? So a storage DCS, decentralized cloud storage, automatically encrypts all files before being uploaded. So in other words, the data is your data is only in your hands and uh, those you shared with. So trying to translate, trying to use different words, can storage see the data we store? No, the files are encrypted, split into many, many different pieces and stored on geographically uh, diversified nodes making data breaches a thing of the past. Uh, so we are the owners of that data. That's, that's, that's really, really important. That's how the decentralization works. 
uh, what kind of the encryption they use, uh, where every file is encrypted using AES256 GCM symmetric encryption. Uh, that's the standard on every file before being uploaded to the storage network to ensure no unauthorized user can access the data. Well, why you may ask why it's so important? Uh, well, this is very, very easy answer. Taking into the consideration what the big names, what the big centralized companies are doing, right? They are simply dealing with our data. Uh, if you are going to get something for free, right, meaning that you are the client. Well, so why it's so important? Because only we should be the owner of our data, right? So the files on storage DCAs um, can't be accessed without the keys or permission. Everything is encrypted before being uploaded and uh, the access to the data uh, is done by uh, the authorization, meaning that you can authorize, uh, you can authorize who is uh, watching, who is uh, getting the access uh, to the uh, to the data, right? So the encrypted objects are split into the smaller pieces. So how many pieces, right? Each file gets split into 80 pieces and retrieving a file only requires 29. Each of the 80 pieces is stored on different node. Why storage are splitting up the files? Splitting files yields unparalleled performance and durability. The decentralized architecture offers improved out-of-the-box security and privacy for the storage customers and enables more reliable performance than traditional cloud storage providers. And um, the, 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 those pieces are globally um, distributed, right? Uh, so that's the very, very uh, interesting thing. Um, objects are retrieved when you need them. So meaning that only 29 of the whole 80 pieces are needed to reconstitute that object, right? With no central point of the failure, the data, our data is always quickly available all over the world, right? So that's the thing. That's what we uh, are looking for, to be honest with you, when it comes to our private data. So now we are going to check the storage token versus the tether. Of course, after the monster Riley towards the 384 dollars, since then we've seen huge, strong pullback. Now we've seen, especially uh, yesterday, right on uh, Wednesday, we've seen whole crypto market on the setback. There was a blood on the street, right? But if we are going to take into the consideration the lower shadow, and the shadow has been created almost everywhere yesterday, right? We see that the $1 as of now, might work as a very strong support level, very strong demand level. But again, there is a, a little bit of the additional demand, additional support, a little bit lower, down towards 75 cents. So I would consider $1.75 this particular zone, right? as a very, very strong demand zone. So either you are a miner, right? I would be careful trying to immediately cash out uh, hard earned tokens, right? As well, if you are a buyer, if you are trading the token, right? I would say that $1 down towards 75 cents as a demand zone, the first supply is related to $1.40, 
and $1.60. So that's the first supply zone. But strongly believe if you are going to see uh, the overall crypto market expansion, then uh, the uh, decent decentralized uh, cloud services are going to gain um, more, in my opinion. So the next target is going to be to 20. That's where I would try to cash out um, really, really first time. So uh, taking into the consideration $1.75, we are talking about the two up to three R as a first target with the second around the four and then further out from there. With that being said, guys, we are approaching accumulating zone so be careful out there don't be trapped uh, work with your exposure and if that's going to happen and it's gonna be done proper way uh, everything should work fine of course the daily and weekly close below 75 cents might reopen the low below 50 down towards 35 cents but only only with the daily and the weekly close below 75. Again, it was my pleasure to make this update for you. Wish you great trading session. Take care and see you around. Goodbye.